Hello. Hello. Look who's here on I'm here camera. Live. Can you believe it? On this side of Hello, the camera. Hello, everybody. It is Friday, November 20th. This is Linda and Carl. This is Carl. From Colorworks Designs here out in beautiful Palm Desert. And guess what today is? It is. Yay! Yay! See, we have to applaud ourselves because Facebook keeps digging us for yes. that applause that was on there as if we're doing somebody's, uh, we're infringing on somebody's copyright. So we're going to applaud ourselves. Welcome we in to Fab Friday. This is episode number 23. Carl is right next I door am. today. That's very exciting because we today we have our customer appreciation uh, share and show slideshow and you guys have all been so great sending in your pictures so we've compiled them together in a little slideshow so everybody can see what everybody else is stitching up but first let's say hello to everybody let's and i'm check gonna be in. a little cross-eyed because i'm what? checking well no over let's here. see who's checking in well, that's what i my think eyes we have Kay here. checking in from palm desert and now see i can see the screen very clearly today but it's i'm right cross-eyed because i'm looking and over pat there. stack is checking in from pinehurst hello pat and who else? We've got Truth. Trudy and Suzanne, I see, and Kimberly. Everybody is checking in. We really appreciate Oceanside, um, Julie. saying hello. Hello, Julie. Love your quilts. We'll get to those in just a minute. And Nancy's from Indiana. Beautiful Indiana, I bet. And Kelly from Tennessee. I'm just running through the comments here. And Terry from Ohio. And, of course, Mary from Santa Margarita, California. Thank you guys so much. I feel like I'm in a romper room. Kind of like I see Mary and I see Julie. I need like a little mirror. And, and Suzanne Susan, is checking in from France. Hello. Bonjour. Good evening French to you. There from me, yes. But yes. Okay. So this is episode tw number 23, the customer appreciation gratitude because it is a, the uh, week before Thanksgiving here um, and we are so appreciative of you our customers and for supporting us so we thought it would be fun to do a customer appreciation yes. show and share slideshow that's quite a mouthful but first 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 we must ask you to like and share this video. Make sure that you go up and subscribe to our Colorworks YouTube channel. And then, if Carl's ready, we will check in. Are you ready, Carl? I'm ready. At the cactus camp. Let's see if there's anybody out there today. No. No. But look at the sky. But we have a mountains. beautiful day out there. The weather is holding really nicely. We are breaking up, Oops. Pat says. Okay. Oh, my. Is I anybody else getting is. any breakup letters? No. It could be us talking over each other so close. Oh. But Could anyway, it's a beautiful day there in Palm, uh, freezing intermittently, okay. says Julie. Well, this might just be an internet gremlin going on, and I, I apologize. I'm not sure what's going on. So let us know if we go in and out or you lose us. On I hope Facebook. that it clears up. But let's go back to the master yes. shot. There we are. And we'll before you guys lose us, we'll award, the, of course, the $10 you started breaking up and then went off. What happened, says Suzanne. Oh. Oh, my. Did we lose you? Is it, I don't know. Are we, is everybody else seeing us? Or is are we, we talking to ourselves? Let's it see. says we're still live. It says we're so, still live. So we'll um, move on. We'll move on. It's, and and hopefully it's everybody like else last can week, see Friday us. Friday the 13th. Um, it's now yes. Friday the 13th. November 20th. Week. Yes. So, um, yes, breaking Yo, up, two. I guess. We must have a really, really bad internet a connection. connection. Um, so, um, hopefully they'll stay with us. Yes. And hopefully and not, it'll clear up. Um, otherwise we would need to stop and start, start again. again, but this is the, um, perils of doing live Facebook, yes. which is part of the problem. So let's but they talk can catch about us on YouTube later. Cause we'll have a clean feed. Well, yeah, feed. we'll put the clean feed up, yes. but let's go to the, uh, Colorworks gift card winner. Cause I know she's checking in right now. Can see you fine and from so Julie. Hold on. Okay. Uh, hold on. So last week's question was, what was your favorite quilt block? And of course, this week's winner, picked by the random thingamajizer of the $10 Colorworks gift card is... Susan. Suzanne or from Suzanne France. from France. Well, uh, congratulations. I will get you that $10 Colorworks gift card via email. And hopefully our connections are working really well. Um, it looks like... Uh, it looks like we're breaking up again, still says. When it comes to the question at the end of it, can you visit or type? Yes. Terry says, when it comes to the question at the end, 
How I'll do we get that, that up there? there? Hold on. There. We're, we're all out of sorts being next door to each other right now. That's right, because I'm usually um, over at there. At the end of our visit, can you type the question? Yes, we will. We'll put the question up. We always bring it up as like a little Chiron at the, board, at the, at the bottom of the screen. So let's get right into the customer appreciation show and share slideshow. Hopefully, you guys... Um, I, you know, I've got everybody's name on their on their quilts, so hopefully everybody can see the quilts. But we'll start the slideshow right away here. So, congratulations, Suzanne. By the way, okay. So I wanted to start with these We're two. We're down here now. These We're two um, uh, quilts. So first we have a quilt by Barbara, and that is a really cute seaside quilt. It looks like I just love it with all the little seaside cre uh, creatures. She's got a little shark. She's got starfish. She's got whales and fishies. Sea and then horses, Phyllis sent me this picture of a quilt that she completed with little sea turtles. And I thought these two really went well together. So we have a beautiful quilt by Barbara and a beautifully cute quilt by Phyllis. So that was our first one. Second, let's go to Julie sent this one in late last night. I guess she just completed it. You can let us know in the comments, Julie, if this was, if I'm correct. I think it has over 300 flying geese, smaller flying geese units and over a hundred of the larger wow. geese units. So you have to really like to do flying geese to do this quilt. But this is a beautiful quilt. I love the colors. I love the border the around board is great. it. Yeah. It is gorgeous. Here's a Cosmos quilt. Now I did pluck some of these quilt pictures from our Colorworks Quilt Along page. So I did pull some of these from previous quilt alongs because some of them were just too beautiful to pass up. So this is Deborah's Cosmos quilt. And she, you can see that she's in progress of making these um, beautiful, beautiful blocks. She's going to make a king size quilt. So this is gonna be a huge Cosmos quilt block. And um, she's got, I, I mean, Cosmos quilt, and she's got, I think, probably at least another 12, maybe 14 uh, blocks that she's making to make it a king-size quilt. And I just want to compliment the colors in this one. It's beautiful because, colors. First of all, it's analogous, which everybody knows is right next to each other on the color wheel, but it almost looks like watercolor paintings, right. which I love it. Love and it. on the black background, oh, it yeah. all really pops out. It's gonna, so this is a gorgeous yeah. job, gorgeous. Next, let's see what we've got. Oh, we've got some more Cosmos. So this is, I've been teaching Cosmos and my No Fear of Curves Cosmos workshop uh, virtually. So this first one on the left is by Jean. This was done in one of our uh, workshops that I did virtually. And she wanted to use all her whimsical fabrics. So this was a beautiful block. And then of course, you guys have probably seen this from a couple days, uh, a couple weeks ago with Fab Friday. But this was one of my favorite customer Cosmos blocks by Suzanne in a recent workshop that I did virtually where she actually used it as an applique uh, background, the Cosmos block, and put the Loch Ness Monster, of course, on it. So beautiful. that is super, super, super No cute. turkey there. No turkey. No turkey Then there. we have a beautiful color maze pill pillow made by Bonnie. This was, again, from a recent virtual workshop that I taught at a guild. And I always throw in, when we have enough time, a little slash and sew tutorial near the end, uh, which features this little color maze pillow. And actually, it's not color maze. I have that totally labeled wrong. It's color... Color struck. Uh, color struck. Color struck. It's color struck. You can tell we've been downstairs with the kitchen, and it's just discombobbled us. So we'll get to that in a but minute. But look at the swirls but in the that, I love Beautiful her quilting swirls. there, and she did that for Halloween. I think she was doing a pair of pillows there. And then we have... Lisa did a Cosmos variation. Again, this is from a uh, recent workshop and I love the warm and cool colors oh, that yeah. she contrasted there including the background that changes from block to block which is really nice very pretty mm -hmm. and then we just received this uh, cosmos quilt finish from Tammy so Tammy I taught uh, this particular workshop um, if you can believe it in person I might say it I really, wow when was that gosh it was it seems like ages ago it was decade. just last year yeah. at the Raincross Quilters Guild and so Tammy just finished her Cosmos quilt. I love it. I love the quilting, the beautiful neutral color oh, palette. The colors are great. It's just fabulous. So this is by Tammy, and it's the Cosmos quilt. And, it, and even though it's all neutral colors, it's still got a lot of contrast, which helps to the it stylization does. of it. It's great. It does. 
perfect. And then this one we had to put up. This is from Marsha. She sent me this um, last night. And I just thought this was just a super, super, super cute picture. It's the Cosmos block again, Cosmos variation. But she put in this really kind of lovely border. It looks like a wacky pieced border or oh, wonky yeah. pieced border. Um, beautiful. And the, and the picture composition is just so great. Like sitting out on the front porch in this cute little cottage house. And then you have this brightly colored quilt there. I just loved it. Love this the was colors. just beautiful, beautiful. Thank you, Marsha, for sending that in. And then also for Marsha, so you have to know Marsha works with her brother, uh, David, at the APQS store, which is up in Rancho Cucamonga. And it's a beautiful little shop. California. And if you, yeah, this is California. So if you, and it's near Ontario. So if you need a APQS long arm machine, or if you need long arm supplies for your APQS uh, machine, or if you need your long arm machine um, repaired or cleaned, he's the man to go to. His name is David Binquist at the APQS store in Rancho Cucamonga. And Marsha is his sister. And Marsha helps him out in the store and does all the quilting. So, And I just got a little um, story on Dave. Oh, what? With our APSQ quilt when we first moved here, it, it broke on a weekend when we needed it to make a well, quilt for a magazine. Well, it didn't really break. I actually, yeah. it was out of timing. And I actually... The needle hit the bobbin case and shattered the needle in the bobbin case, which then took it more out of time. So on, a, so on a Sunday morning, Dave was on the phone with me going through how to fix the machine on the phone. That service. Yes. Great, Dave. Thing. Yes. And we actually got it done Sunday night, and it was in off to the magazine on Monday morning. And then he repaired. Perfect. He really repaired the yeah, machine. Yeah, then I took he it in. He replaced the really bobbin good, case. He got me through that did weekend. All that stuff. Yes. So this is Marsha's color maze quilt that she did all out of cape, all beautiful, warm red magenta tones with a touch of yellow in there. It's beautiful. So this is a beautiful, Loving beautiful it. color maze quilt as well. And it's that's super large. That's actually, it looks like she did like almost a queen size there. She added an extra row and an extra couple color maze blocks at the bottom. So it's beautiful. And then some more from Marsha. She had to send me these because, she, of course, she does a lot of quilting for her the store and for other people. So these are just some extra ones from Marsha. The little house quilts with the log cabin around them are so cute. And I love the flying geese one at the bottom left with the beautiful colorations oh, that yeah. are going around. It's and then it goes geometric. into gray. Very, very modern, modern looking. looking. Love and it. then this is our friend... Um, Oh, gosh, I can't remember her name, but it's Orange Dot Quilts, it's, and this is on the right-hand side. Orange Dot Quilts is the company, and it is the pattern is called Beads on a Wire, I want to say, and it's a very popular pattern, but if you like, that's Marsha's version of Beads on a Wire uh, by quilting. Orange Dot Quilts, and you can find that pattern at her website, orangedotquilts.com. Um, so that is a beautiful, beautiful version there. Going on, uh, oh, yes. Pink Box. So this Loving is from one this. of our Colorworks quilt alongs. It looks like sherbet. Um, watermelon for me. Or watermelon. Mm -hmm. It's Paint Box made by Vicky from one of our, our uh, last Colorworks quilt alongs. And so that is just a beautiful, I wanted to, to show that because of the colors in it. More than, There it is. Teddy just said, okay, let's go back. So Teddy just gave me the, the, the clue I was looking for. Her name is Dora. This is the beads on a wire orange dot quilt. So this is the right-hand side quilt that Marsha did. Dora is her name. I thank you, Teddy. And Mary Dora, also said or Dora. Beads, yes. on a, uh, Beads on a wire is the pattern name. Orange dot quilts is the company name. Paint Box by Colorworks, that's us. So this is um, Vicky's version of Paint Box. And then we have some Splendor. So this is the mini Splendor quilts done by Kitty and Jen during our Colorworks quilt along. And these are just gorgeous little versions of wall hangings. Oh, I think yeah. Jen was doing two pillows um, of the same thing for her tiki room there. Um, and then Kitty just did a multicolored following color wheel color order wheel, which great. there, which is beautiful. So that's but I like the great almost, version. Jen almost got monochromatic over here, which is great too. So I'm loving, it is. loving the colors. And then we have some more Splendor quilts that I pulled from the Colorworks quilt along. Again, we have Julie's version, which is beautiful. Very, um, I love the contrast in the back of the black and the white and the beautiful color wheel um, colors that go around. And then we have Kathy's Splendor at the bottom right which I love that she took the pattern a little step further and bordered each of the smaller flowers with the same color that they were in so that they really popped even more. Again, so in color wheel, just looks beautiful, stunning. Beautiful, beautiful version. Stunning when there. you do color wheel order, let me tell you. And then another one by Julie, our friend down in Oceanside. 
Um, hopefully we didn't lose the feed. Kelly says, did we lose the, the feed? feed? I know it says we're still live. So I hope we didn't lose the feed, but here we go. We will, if you are feeling this is sketchy, never fear. We will post the clean version up at our ColorWorks YouTube channel later. So we're always recording this off to the side on our computer. And so if something happens with the feed, we'll post it up. Um, a clean version for everybody to see. So this is another um, beautiful quilt by Julie. It's so cozy, beautiful autumn colors there. Thank you, Julie, for sending that in. Next one by Kay, um, who is in Palm Desert. That's a beautiful snowball terrace um, kind of looking quilt, all out of Kay Fawcett fabric. And then we have another one from Phyllis, which is a trellis one, and that is beautiful colors as well. So those are beautiful versions. Thank you, ladies, for sending those I in. Did. Oh, I, did you I, want to go back? Well, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just commenting now because I'm watching mm. the comments coming in on, on this feed today. Oh. So we're getting gremlins somewhere down the line here, and it may be localized because some people are getting it great and some people are not. So it might be local internet connections might be the problem today. Right. Maybe there's a lot of traffic today. Yeah. I don't know. But here's some more. We'll just keep going. So uh, we did our fabric flower collage tutorial back in episode 11. And so this was Mary's version that she did of the fabric flower collage. And then we have Kelly's version of flower garden, which is one of our patterns on the side. And I love the earthy tones there. Both are absolutely beautiful. I just want to stay with Mary for a moment because that looks almost like a watercolor painted. It with does. With the fabrics she chose. And she also modified the vase. So... And, and the arrangements, which is great, because that's what we want you to do, is take the idea and just bounce it off yourself. Uh, but that just looks like a beautiful watercolor painting it to does. me. It does. It's great. It's beautiful. Yeah. And thank you, everybody, for letting us know that things are running okay in your neighborhood. Uh, Suzanne from France, who just won the, just gift, won card, the gift card, um, sent these in. And so these are beautiful. She's very prolific out there in France. So we have these beautiful um, kind of uh, three-dimensional flowers in the upper left, all out of K Fawcett with spots and things like that. And then I love the three-dimensionality of the one on the lower left, which um, says smile and stand the tall. Big Don't we all need to know that now? Oh, yes. I mean, my God, with everything going on. And then this is one of my favorite quilts that you guys sent in with the loves me, loves me not, the posies, just um, beautiful, simple, but so delightful. And the petals and, falling and off cute, like you so. would pull them off. Thank you, Suzanne, for sending those in. Uh, from Terry, this came in, and it's also by uh, quilted by Cassandra Ireland, Ireland Beaver from Urbana, Ohio. Beautiful quilting on this, but this is one of those Hoffman uh, fabric panels that you've seen probably everywhere, and it's got beautiful quilting, but what I love about what Terry did with this quilt is she took another panel, it looks like, and chopped it up and made it a fussy border cut. and fussy cut it. So that is just a beautifully ingenious work and, there. And it the created panel. a lot of dimension. Like, it let did. me tell you, that creates a lot of three dimensionals to it. So it's almost like you want to grab it and go inside it. Great. And next up we have from Kim. Kim is our holiday maven, so she loves doing holiday quilts. And if you remember, I showed some of Kim's Halloween quilt. So she did our Happy Jacks, which is now pictured there. She also did our Bat Magic. And then she sent me this new Christmas quilt she did, and it is just gorgeous. And if there's a close-up of her stippling there at the butter at the bottom there, I hope you can see it. Um, so that's from Kim. Thank you so much for sending those in. And then we have some color bugs here. So moving right along, these are from workshops that I've taught again virtually in the last couple months. So we have Linda sent in her color bug. Um, table runner version so we could look at that and those are beautiful and then we have lynn in the middle did our color bug and curves class and you can see she actually put in huge dots on those, those dots. ladybugs yeah. and then sue sent us in her polka dot cave um, color bugs so those are all super super cute versions of the color bug and then Shireen just sent me this one, so I wanted to show it to you. This is Shireen's um, Color Bug and Curves uh, workshop class uh, quilt that she finished. Um, and it's all these very pastel colors. Beautiful. It looks like a watercolor, but they're all polka dot. So these, these little color bugs are actually polka dotted ladybugs now. Well, it looks like they're flying around in the air too, which is great. It does. It looks like they're just floating on the wind there. And she's beautiful. got the varied backgrounds, which oh, always yeah. make it your eye move across the quilt. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 
Then we have from Suzanne again in France, our feeling groovy. I got this from the quilt along page again because these were just too good to pass up. So this is Suzanne's feeling groovy quilt and it's all out of cape. And then she also took the border of feeling groovy, if you remember, and made herself a little pumpkin table runner. Lovely pop art quilt. Beautiful. That. Beautiful. And then we have this Julie's one. recent finish ah. of Feeling Groovy, and that's beautiful. It looks like the, the colors Julie used in the background, I must say, at first I thought we had shadows coming across the, pic, the, uh, the actual picture that she took, meaning that the shadows were going light and dark across. But that was, I realized it was just the fabrics Julie chose for the background, and it's beautiful. Oh, it's glorious. That one is glorious. It's I must beautiful. say, that one, it looks like a real pop art poster there. It's like something you would get screen printed and you're buying a fancy store. Loving it. And then we have Debbie's version of our Beauty Bunch. So this is one of the old Linderella patterns that uh, perhaps is still available, I mm -hmm. think. We might have some copies uh, still here. Um, but I love what she did with the striped kind of on the diagonal border. And of course, the Beauty Bunch flowers are always fun. But then she took our hip chicks chicken. If you look way down in the lower right, there's a little hip chick. From one of our patterns and she kind of stuck that down in the lower right so that is super cute and that is actually and again very ingenious we love to see what people do with all of our patterns and combine them in different ways and all that stuff and that actually is a table runner version the real one is like how many 12 nine faces, it was nine well faces? it was based on the brady bunch so there were right. nine girls that i really didn't like in high school that was really designed for all the girls i didn't like in high school basically so that's why they all have snarky looks the beauty bunch flowers. but they don't have to be snarky you well they don't the have face. to be snarky but i made them snarky yes. so you know and then we go to our mini mod dog. So we have Jane's mini mod dog that she um, stepped up a version. So she put it on a log cabin background, a blue sky with a sun. And then the grass was log cabin. So that was really, really, really cute. It's great. And then we have um, uh, Nedra's mini mod dog, of course, out of cave with the Renaissance ribbons and on the Essex linen background. And I love how she did the binding around yes, the pillow there. Yes, great. So it accents the red dog as well. Beautiful. And then we have our Mod Frog. So this was Dorian, and I had to show this again from our Colorworks Quilt Along page. So Dorian did our Mod Frog pattern, but she made it into a memory quilt in memory of her mom who loved um, frogs. So this was just a really, really super cute version, and she fussy cut little butterflies out and all that other stuff. And so I, really, really cute. And I love the monochromatic greens here. This is just yeah. beautiful. I mean. We always go for color, but this one is stunning too with the monochromatic greens. Next we have from Dorian as well. She did our Mod Cat. So this is one of our quilt alongs. Again, we did the wonky piecing and easy applique quilt along. And this was how she ended up setting off one of her Mod Cats. So she stuck him in the middle and then she ended up doing all these, um, I guess you would call those like what, triangular pieced blocks um, around it and it was just it's beautiful this is just a very very beautiful it, it, it with is the, with it was, the colors. I mean all those batiks in there it looks like I mean saturations it's looking great looks uh, good it's beautiful so thank you Dorian it's very Egyptian yes and then we have our from the same quilt along we have a couple mod fish to show you so this was Suzanne's mod fish up there and Candy's mod fish who Candy went all the way and added some seaweed and right. Suzanne added her curvy quilting in the back the curvy piecing I might add in the back and I love Suzanne's colors because it looks very at, like this is a I don't know it looks it reminds me of African wax block fabrics right. and then um, Candy's is just beautiful and she added buttons for I the eyes. I was going to say it looks so. very three dimensional with the pearl buttons for the eyes. Great. Isn't I mean, that great? And the seaweed it looks like they're actually swimming through the seaweed. So again that's from our Colorworks quilt along page. Anybody can join the quilt alongs. We're going to start a new quilt along probably in January. I must apologize we've been rather silent on the Colorworks quilt along these days and that's because we've been busy with the kitchen, we've been busy with teaching. work, secret sewing and teaching and all that stuff. Designing Here fabrics. is Mod TV, another one from Colorworks Quilt Alongs. This was another quilt along. And this was Mod TV by Nedra, and this is beautiful. Most people do Mod TV in the bright colored palette, like you see on Nancy's um, beautiful Mod TV next door. But Nedra did it in a totally, totally different color palette, which just came out beautiful. And of course, she fussy cut and put photo fabric in all the screens, as well as Nancy did too. So Nancy's Mod TV is very beautiful too. And it's just, it's fun. This is a, a really fun, whimsical pattern to have. Great pattern. And make memory quilts out of. And of course, 
since we're talking about the Mod TV quilt along, I had to throw in Kathy's Mod TV because, you know, I'm a big fan of the 60s, 70s. So I remember the Monkeys TV show, you know, with all the monkeys there, you know, Davy Jones and uh, they, Michael, the, the, the Michael Nesmith. Right there on the right side. Peter Tork who just yes, passed. Tork, and I'm forgetting the other uh, gentleman. Um, Mickey Dolenz. Mickey, Mickey Dolenz. How Mickey, can I forget Mickey Dolenz? How could you forget Mickey and Dolenz? So, and so um, Kathy was a big fan, of course, of the monkeys. And so she did her whole mod TV based on the monkeys TV show. And she used inspiration for each TV screen from their TV show. So, um, did I ever that, tell you I worked with Mickey Dolenz? No. I'll tell did, you later. What? Oh, mm -hmm. Carl. It was good. It was good. Carl. Mm. Oh. And then um, Julie, of course, did some uh, memory uh, blocks for her grandchildren. So this is just another way of showing off the Mod TV um, pattern. And you can put in a, pa a photo on photo fabric, um, uh, a photo fabric of your favorite person or a wedding or a dog or whatever, um, and make a little memory block or pillow for them. And so that was Julie's And Mary's version. just down here, if you want to bring what that What did Mary comment. say? Let me see. Let's see what Mary Let's just see. said. Ah, Mary says it's on cardstock. It was a birthday card. Oh, really? Okay. Thank you, Great. Mary. I think that we're referring to the, the fabric flower collage. Probably. Is that right? Is that right? Mary, let us know. Um, but yes, thank you. Um, okay. And then this Look came in. This. Kathy just sent in Wild. this Mod Tiki quilt. Wild. And I am Living impressed it. because yeah. we don't get a lot of pictures of the big kahuna version of mod tiki a lot of people do the single tiki like you see and so kathy did both she did a single tiki with the little polynesian flowers which is on the right hand side and she just finished piecing the big kahuna version and so wait a minute i think she needs i think she needs so much more I think so too. that is the, that is a lot of work the big kahuna version but I it really isn't you. because it's but 12 it's fabrics and you well, put them all it the is, same but you just mix them up you mix up all the pieces yeah. carl's saying it's just 12 fabrics that's all you need to choose but you are appliquing 12 tikis so i know um, i cut them all it's out a lot, remember it's a lot of fun that's right so it's a lot of fun and marcia says it is so much fun seeing everyone's quilts yes i think so too so you guys have been great uh, sending in all these quilts. So look at that. That is beautiful with Kathy. Now she's going to figure out how to quilt that. Um, but that is just beautiful the way. Loving uh, the, just the loving colors. Loving the colors. Oh, the background colors. And everything they're doing. It's very, um, oh, yeah. The big kahuna version of Mod Tiki. And then Kelly sent us in her patchwork pieced heart, all out of K faucet. This apparently hangs on the outside of her office cubicle. And so everybody is always walking by and making comments. I'm surprised. Actually, Kelly, that it's still hanging. Yes, there, nobody's that too somebody hasn't actually like it. walked off with it. Yeah, quite yet. So beautiful quilt. Okay, beautiful stuff. And then we have Carol's Technicolor. So Carl especially likes uh, this I, one. I love this one all the time because it's such an easy pattern, and I just like its graphic nature. I mean, whether it's on black or white or whatever background in color order, I just like it. So Carol did a beautiful job with this, and this is a super easy pattern in case you're not familiar with it. It's one of our... Well, Carl did Carl, it and made it. Yeah, Carl designed it. And so um, it's basically a layer cake, which is, you know, 40 10-inch squares plus a yard of fabric. That's all you need to do this quilt. And it comes out beautiful. It's a stack and whack, and it's super easy. It can be made in a weekend. So... I was just going to say, it's hard to make a mistake with this one. It is? Well, yeah. Because yeah. you designed it. That's right. That'd okay. be easy. And then Teddy's, Teddy. Teddy. Look at this. So Teddy sent in this one um, yesterday. And so it's um, uh, it's her improvisational, um, curvy, wonky, um, kind of um, Gwen modern, Marston. Very Gwen, Gwen Marston, Marston style. Um, quilt that she just finished in a workshop. I believe the teacher, Teddy, correct me if I'm wrong, was Cindy Griselda, I believe who just taught this workshop. And so if you get a chance to take a workshop with Cindy Griselda, you should, because then you can make something like Teddy made here, which is just Very gorgeous. liberating. And I'm interested to see how Teddy quilts this. I imagine modern, straight lines, Teddy. I'm not sure. So um, that is beautiful. Maybe we'll get Teddy to give us an update when it's done. And then last but not least, we're going to finish the um, customer appreciation share and show slideshow that's a, a mouthful with my second ever quilt so this is the second ever quilt i made this was after i took my um, first and ever kind of professional workshop with freddie moran and that was at road to california about 
um, 25 years 25 ago now. 25 years ago. Wow. And I spent two days with Freddie and a lot of other ladies. And lots of money and I on never, fabric. And lots of money on fabric because when I went into the class with Freddie, she looked at my colors and I had just started quilting and I was kind of into the, the only thing I could buy at my local quilt store was Debbie Mum and Thimbleberry's fabrics. And so she sent me promptly down to the studio, to the floor, uh, showroom floor, to the vendor she knew and I ended up spending four hundred dollars oh, within did. a half hour oh, yeah, on did. all these Jan Mullen, who is an Australian artist, Jan Mullen fabrics and Jan Mullen pattern, which this is one of Jan Mullen's patterns called Houses with a Z. Um, and so this is my second ever quilt. Um, we still have it to this day. It's, it's the actually quilt. a dog's quilt. The dogs, so all the dogs our first about dog, it. Danny, had it. Then our little beagles, Molly and Max, used to hang out with this quilt. So it has been a well loved, well washed. Quilt. And the next dog will and get it. And the next dog will get it whenever we uh, get Finish done the remodeling the house. So that is our customer appreciation share and show slideshow. We really appreciate you guys sending in all your photos. It was so much fun to see them all. I hope we did. Yes, Teddy says, let me put that up. Mm. I need to go back to that. Teddy says, yes, Cindy Griselda, and she is teaching at her. Uh, home like road at home I think it is which is the virtual so if you want to make something like this Cindy Griselda is who you need to uh, seek out at the road at home road to California quilt show which is virtual this year which means it doesn't matter where you are in the country you can take a workshop at road at home so with that we're going to thank everybody so much for sending in all your photos. Thank you. Applaud everybody. Yes, everybody should give themselves a big, huge applause for actually doing that. We'll check in with the cactus cam quickly. Well, actually, Kelly says make this a tradition. Oh, sure we will. We will. I think it was really fun to see everybody's quilts. I always get jealous when the when the quilt guilds do it, and I thought, why can't we do it right here and have everybody send in all of their quilts that they're working on. We'll just get a few more comments. Yes, here. well, you want to whack through comments? Yes. yes. Okay, here we go. Marsha says, love the house's quilt. I want this one. Okay, so the Jan, it's Jan Mullen, M-U-L-L-E-N. Her company is called Stargazy Quilts with a Z. And the actual pattern was called Houses, H-O-U-Z-E-S or S-E-Z. -E she always spells everything with a Z. So Trudy says, great quilts, everyone. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sending in. Mary says, so great seeing all the beautiful quilts. So much talent out there. Thank you. Thank you, Mary. Good. We really Everybody appreciated your submissions. And Suzanne says, fun show. Thank you. I know. We had some internet gremlins, so we will make sure that the color, the YouTube version has a clean version. Clean feed. Facebook, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to change, but I'm going to have to go check it out. Facebook is a little um, Facebook -y. iffy. Facebook yeah, Facebook -y. It's Col uh, YouTube, on the other hand, will allow me to upload a clean version. So um, I just want to make sure that if you do want to share this with anybody, go to the ColorWorks YouTube version. When I get it posted up in about two hours, you can always copy the link and share it with all your friends and put it on your own Facebook page if you'd like. We would really appreciate that because it grows our ColorWorks family. And Suzanne says, this was so awesome, all the quilts. I just missed that. All the quilts are dreamy and give us so much energy and inspiration. Thank you. Well, thank, thank you, Suzanne. And congratulations again about winning the $10 ColorWorks gift card. Julie says, so great to see the quilts. Lots of inspiration. Thank you, you guys. Thank you so much. We really appreciate that. Let's go to the cactus text. cam. Look, this golfer. What? Finally. There's golfers. No Whoa, way. Look at that. Look at that. The sky's beautiful. And it's a beautiful day out there. So I'm coming back. Okay, to so we're going to give you a quick update on the kitchen oh, remodel the kitchen. because, you know, that's why we're so discombobulated in case you can't tell. It's the house is a mess, a mess. But let's go to the ki the kitchen remodel. What's going on? Oh, no, we're on oh. the last slide. Oh, go forward, Carl. There we go. Yes. Oh, God. Okay. There we See, go. we couldn't even get our slides in the right order. All right, so here is what's going on in the kitchen remodel this week. So last week we had the drywall guys in, and we had the tile guy, Lee, in, who told us about his Levi quilt that he made and all this stuff. So this week has been kind of boring. So Carl has been working very, very hard painting, and this is, like, as interesting as it gets, quite frankly, if you, you know, because you know painting walls. It really isn't that interesting. Well, you have to prime first. You have to prime. Especially if it's but brand Carl, new plastic. Carl's been doing all that work. Yes. He deserves applause. Yes, he does. Yes. 
So what have I been doing? I, on the other hand, my contribution, other than buying things for the kitchen and doing secret sewing up here for Island Boutiques, of which I would love to show you, but I cannot show you. Um, not yet, anyway. Not yet, anyway, is um, I got the, um, the um, kind of um, boring job of, well, I, it wasn't that boring. I actually figured out how to mix grout. I never had mixed grout before, tile grout, sanded grout. So I learned how to mix tile grout. And then my job was to go in and actually fill in all the spaces between where the tile didn't meet the wall. You said it was like icing a cake. It was like icing a cake. And I did have this little flat spatula that I had bought at Home Goods, which was really for spreading butter and peanut butter. And that ended up being the best tool ever um, because the float didn't work against the wall. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it was a really boring job, but I, I learned a lot about how to mix the proper grout. And of course, um, when you're mixing grout, it's actually like mixing pie crust, which is you do a lot of, of grout, uh, grout powder, and you add a little bit of water at a time until when you mix it and you hold the spatula upside down, it doesn't fall off. Did you know that? I didn't know that. I learned that from a YouTube video. Like and a then great you have to let it show too. Yeah, and then you have to let it sit for five minutes. So that's how you know the grout is ready to use. Okay, so that was my job. Now this is what we're going to go into this weekend. So this is about one twentieth of the boxes for the flooring. So this weekend we are laying down the flooring. It's a luxury vinyl planking. It's called Smart Core. It's from Lowe's. It's a waterproof flooring. It's going to go right over the tile floor, which is why I had to um, go in there and fill in the grout. Wait, Marsha says, Marsha says, that's an important skill, Linda. Yes, it is. I don't know when I'll ever use it again, but it was an important skill to learn, I must say. Yes. So anyway, so this is our next job was laying down all these floorboards, clicking them together. This is Carl's fifth time doing this, I it's, believe. It's, it's like the tunnel in The Great Escape where yes. you X the yes, tunnel. Yes, this is number, like number five. five. You've done it for two shops and two, two houses. houses. This will be the fifth the, time. Yes. So that is what we're going to be doing over the weekend in addition to secret sewing and all that other stuff. Now, meanwhile, we did show this up on our, our um, Instagram and Facebook. This is the backsplash tile we have chosen to put in the kitchen. This is going to be the absolute last step ever because we, have, yes. we haven't even ordered the countertop yet. We have to do that. But we have to get the cabinets in. The countertop has to come in. All the appliances have to come in. Okay. And the picture there is not our kitchen. This is just a picture I stole from Home Depot. So you can kind of see what the backsplash will do. Will once look like. It will look should like. Should look like. And should look like. It's going to be fun. It's, it's, I would, you know, if I had my druthers, I would be painting this house a la Freddie Moran. I would be making a purple staircase. I would be having orange walls. I would be having, you know, purple red walls. But, you know, you have to think Fortunately, about. Fortunately, I'm here to stop Yeah, that. Carl is here. And you also have to think about resale value, I guess. Um, well, not only that, you want to you know, see sometimes. your you want to see your quilts on the wall too. I guess. Which are all colorful. Okay, whatever. But the the backsplash really worked, so we thought that was good. And we've been buying appliances, so this is just oh, yeah, perfect, perfect um, sound cue there because this has just been the biggest. What can I say? Okay, so it, everybody in America must be buying appliances at the same time. So uh, we found out a couple things. So we bought an appliance package. Now, we don't need the microwave, but it was cheaper to buy the package than it was to buy everything singularly. We thought we were going to So we may put, raffle the microwave. We may raffle the microwave, but we'll probably probably sell it locally to a neighbor, but you know, or whatever. So anyway, we were going to have a gas oven and have a gas line put in. And at the time that we talked to the gas guys about a year ago, they said, oh yeah, yeah, that'll be like a hundred bucks. So that's what we thought we were going to be in for. Well, we just had, we bought the, the microwave. I mean, we bought the package with the gas oven. The gas guys come out, the plumber, and he quotes us like $750 to $1,000 to put in this gas oven. <laughs> yeah, no, no, we didn't want to spend that. Plus, we might have some issues with permitting Permits. with the mm -hmm. HOA. So I ran back to Home Depot. I returned the gas oven. And I went to go order the equivalent in electric because that's what we are plumbed for. That was the electric. original package. Right. Well, they said, oh, yeah, you can't get that oven that you want in electric. It's sold out. So I had to settle for a lesser model that's coming January 20th. Meanwhile, Carl goes over to Lowe's. He finds the same model. They'll price match and they'll deliver Christmas Day. 
<laughs> kind of. Kind of. <laughs> so we bought that one. And I had one on order at Best Buy at the same time. So at one point during the week, you want to talk about crazy, we had three ovens on order. Now, thankfully, we got our wits about us, and we returned to, and we went with Lowe's, who price matched, who said that the oven might come in sooner than Christmas, but at this point, it's probably around Christmas. The refrigerator and the dishwasher are coming in um, actually about the 10th of December, so that's better. But really, every, everybody in the yeah, thank you. Everybody in America must be buying appliances. And then we found out also that, oh, wait, there was one more slide. Called. There was. There was. I, should I go um, back to go the Go back slideshow? to the slideshow for a minute. Okay. Because there's one more slide. Because we also found out that everybody also, that the appliance manufacturers, because of the COVID shutdown, weren't manufacturing appliances. So if you're looking for an appliance, I, I don't know what to tell you. There are, they are sold out until like February right now. It is just ridiculous. Okay, last slide. Oh, yeah. This is what's sitting uh -huh. in the garage right now. So, again, this is uh, the, the, the perils of home remodeling. So our garage, of which I have to go out and quilt quilts for Island Batiks in about a week and a half, so all of this stuff is going to have to go somewhere. You've got the toilet. We've got tile. We've got concrete. Kitchens. We've got kitchen cabinets still there because we couldn't put any of this in the dumpster. This is how dumb it gets. So we rented We're a California. dumpster. California. And of course, California wouldn't allow no, uh, what construction-based mm -hmm. products in the household dumpster we rented, even though the household dumpster was huge. We would have had to rent a doubly huge dumpster to get rid of this, which would have cost us five times as much. So we're going to rent a truck for $19 a day. Take it we're going to gonna take it to the landfill for $10 and dump it. And while we're at with the truck, we're probably going to go pick up rocks for our front yard from the rock guy over there in Palm Springs. And the rock guy is fantastic because you can go in and he's got, you know, rocks, yay big. We're not talking huge rocks, but well, we're yeah, talking, big. you know, about a foot, foot wide or so. And you can select like eight or 10 rocks for your yard for like 20 bucks. The problem is that they're heavy. They're but big. if we've got the truck, then we, we, can, got we can do that. So that is where we are with the remodel. Thank you guys for indulging us. Um, it, what does Terry say about orange microwaves? I'm looking for one. Just Google orange microwaves and you will get lots of options. Really? I did that. Well, we've got I a could, blue, well, we have a teal blue one if we wanted it. We do, we but that one, I want an orange one to match the, the tile. Toaster. So I'm going to do that, Terry. I did it last night and I couldn't find the orange microwaves. I found red microwaves, but not bright orange. So we'll have to see. I'm going to I'm going to try it. And Suzanne says great backsplash. Thank you. We, Looks a little we, like a quilt. We like it. It does. We thought it was nice and colorful, you know, matches everything and not too overwhelming for um uh, anybody who might be visiting. So Oh, Suzanne says, here we go. Update in France in case anybody else is in France or Europe. Suzanne says, same here in France, no dishwashers or appliances, 2 to 3 months and no guarantee of delivery, I believe. Oh my goodness. They had to buy a refurbished one. It's crazy out there with the appliances. I guess it just is crazy. I guess appliances don't like COVID. I, well, I, I no, know. I just don't know what happened. Everybody must be buying new appliances. Anyway, that is our show for today. So let me put up this week's question. So to, for the random thing of Agizer, $10 Colorworks gift card. You've all been great for indulging us. So this week's question is, what is your favorite dish the at Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving? Because guess what? Next week is Thanksgiving. And we actually are going to have Thanksgiving here in the house, even though we don't have a kitchen. We're going to get together with my older brother, maybe, perhaps. Perhaps. And our neighbor. So, um, gosh, can I say that? We're mixing households. Oh, I'm California. Know. Can I say that? Very quietly. Oh, I don't know if I should have said that. Oops. Then we're going to have to Don't tell it. anybody. That's okay, right. Okay, don't tell anybody. But um, we, we all feel like we're, we'll be sick apart and we'll be social distancing and masks and mm -hmm. all that stuff. But we're going to get a you know pre-made dinner from the local supermarkets and kind of sit outside here and um, do a buffet. And watch the golfers. Yes. So we want to know what your favorite dish is for Thanksgiving. We will be back with you, um, not next week, but the week after. So that is Saturday. No, Friday. Friday. Gosh. Friday. December 4th. We'll be seeing you then. Until then, we are going to wish you all a very, very happy Turkey Day. Stay safe. Stay sane. Um, 
make sure you keep quilting. We love seeing everybody's quilts today. Please share this video with everybody as well um, so we, we can grow our Colorworks family. And my God, that was a long broadcast. I was so about 45 minutes. Thank you guys minutes. so much for thank indulging you. us and for sending all of your quilts in. You're all terrific. And we will see you in December. But until then, happy, happy, happy Thanksgiving and happy Colorworks quilting, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Wow.